Well, hey, here's an old con game to test your intuition. See if you can follow the queen as I shuffle it around the nines. Now, some will bet that I shift it to the bottom. Others will guess I just leave it in the middle. And some will take the sure bet of the top. And that's a bet that's sure to lose. Because no, it's not on the top. And uh-uh, it's not on the bottom. And mm -mm, it's not in the middle. It's just not. Not until the dealer needs it. And then it returns in a flash. Now, look how fast this can be done. As I put the queen to the table, but keep it in my hand. Yeah, that's a nine. See, it just looks like I put the queen on the table, but I keep it over here. I can do that because the queen is a special card. It's an adjustable. Yeah, here, let me exaggerate for clarity. Just a little tug. You can see how the queen gets longer on the ends. Alternatively, you squeeze it there, it gets wider on the sides. That works too, but that's not the best way to cheat. Mm -mm. The best way to cheat the money is actually to use a queen that's just a little bit, just a little bit smaller than the nine. Yeah, a little bit smaller. And that's the secret to the three card Monty. Shh.